Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Mark and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Late and Orient Raw 2 Glory Korean Mode and welcome to a Europa League special. Today what we are going to do is we are going to play the remaining games in our Europa League group. First FC Maddy, then Lech Poznan and then finishing it off with Standard Liège. Let's talk about the games in between, shall we? We're going to sim Newcastle away. We're going to St. James's Park. That was the worst Geordie accent I could have done. I live about 45 minutes away from Newcastle. I reckon I could do better, but I can't be asked. We're going to sim Wolves as well. Pretty dead game. Nobody likes Wolverhampton Wanderers. Then the Lech Poznan game. Then we're going to sim Brighton. We're going to also sim this game against Man City. I know it's against Man City, but it's, it's in the... It's in the Carabao Cup, so nobody really cares. And we're also going to sim Tottenham. Fuck me, that's a busy week, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Brighton, Man City and Tottenham in the space of a week. And then that's where we're going to finish it. Uh, and then, you know what, we'll probably do some highlights next episode. So, yes, the highlights are coming back. So, yeah, let's get into the first of three Europa League games today. Welcome to the Europa League special. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, pretty much the reason why we're doing the Europa League special, I'll explain this now if you didn't know. Um, because, yeah, I th oh, that, this is the main competition that we're going for this season as you can see we're pretty we're pretty fucking perfect in this uh still yet to concede a goal but if we go to the premier league here um we're currently fourth and that's what i'm aiming for top four i said at the beginning of the season actually i'm aiming for top four and i don't think that we'll be able to catch the likes of liverpool uh arsenal as well that's a bit weird uh and man city i just think especially liverpool they should they look like they might be running away with it. Well, not running away with it, but they seem like odds-on favourites right now because, as we all know, Arsenal have a tendency to mess up. So I've pretty much wrote off winning the league this season, but you never know. If, if come next episode, two episodes' time, we're in the conversation, I'll start doing more Premier League games, but I think this season we're pu I'm putting all my eggs in the Europa League basket. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into the game, shall we? Starting it off at home at Brisbane Road uh, taking on FC Maddy first v second could we go through if we win this there's six points between us now there's six points between us now which means if we win we'll go nine points clear with two games left so yes wow yeah so if we win this game we're through. I thought we'd be like, oh yeah, the second the second game, that's when we can, you know, secure our place in the next round. No, the first game of the episode, we can do it. So, <laughs> let's get into the game, shall we? Brisbane Road waits. FC Maddy waits. Let's do this, boys. All right, Brisbane Road place host to this Europa League tie. Leighton Orient versus FC Midland. Were they founded in 1999? Is this club the same age as me? What a fucking tune. God, every time, <laughs> every time it just gets me in the mood. Whoa! All right, so here's how we are going. Brian Rossi start in goal. A change to the back for Caballo, Frankie Kent, Trig Villas, and Robbie Q. Tiedemans Jones and Robert Nygaard making his debut. And up top for the three is Umar Rashford and Castaneda. Robert Nygaard, if you, if you didn't know, last episode. Uh, I've basically been hyping this guy up. Hang on, I'll say this in a minute. Uh, FC Maddy going with Bill Hamid in goal. Cruz, Scholes, Bayer and Anderson. On Yeka, Martins, Isaacson, Evander, Mabilton. And up top is Bobby Reed. Yeah, as I'm saying, uh, Robert Nygaard slash Nygaard um, is a youth player that I've had in the youth academy. It, I swear it's like two years or something. Um... He is, hang on, let's just go to him here if I can stop having a bit of a stroke. 64 rated, this is his full debut. Uh, it was right at the end of last episode that he finally turned 16, so I was able to promote him. And here he is, he's gone straight in the squad. He's got potential to be special, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm putting my entire faith in this guy. That's who he is. Now you've met him. If you didn't meet him already, let's get into the game. Rashford to kick it off and we're underway. And wait for it, Nygaard. 100% passing accuracy. What a man. What a... That's it. Bring him off. Bring him off. He's made a successful pass. Get him off the pitch. Robbie Q. To Jones. To Tielemans. Tielemans finds Jones again. Jones up to Rashford. Rashford to Nygaard. He's going to hit that. It's a good shot. 
from Big Rob. Nice, that. On target. It was a clean hit. I haven't actually... Let me just check. What foot is he? I should probably check that before I start shooting with the kid. Robbie Q takes a throw in quickly. Castaneda in a lot of space. That's twice now Castaneda's done this guy. Puts a ball in along the ground. Umar's there. And he puts it home. Umar. Marin. There's a middle name in there somewhere. <laughs> Get in the goal, son. Get in the goals. I'm sure that's his second of his career, not of his career, of his late Orient career, it's a fantastic ball in along the ground by Esteban Castaneda, and what a finish from Umar there, look at this, just takes it first time, and he sli kind of slices it, but the slice actually takes it flying straight into the top left corner, and you can see the keeper there, well you can't see him anymore, he thought that was going wide, but it actually just curled into the top left, and Umar gets us the lead, 10 minutes in, not a bad start. Castaneda, nope, tries to spin him. He is going to win that. That's nice. Good power from Castaneda. Umar's at the back stick again, but that's aimed towards Rashford. So, fuck me, am I right? Evander now coming forward for FC Maddy. Here's Bobby Reed to Isaacson. Good tackle by Robbie Q. And he does really well to take that away from the second man. It's really, oh god, I really love Robbie Q. What a, oh, I don't like that, Yuri. Telemans, you can stop doing that. Oh, he's absolutely mugged me off. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, that came from Tiedemann's giving the ball away. And then it was just an absolute shambles. I don't know who he was, but he absolutely sold me here. I thought, oh my, did he do a little flip-flap there? And it's a lovely finish as well. I thought he was going to go back across, but he's absolutely sent me flying with Frankie Kent. And he's uh, he's just popped it near post. Oh, Umar there. Using his pace to burst past his man. Just got that powerful, you know, that explosive speed. Puts that towards the back post for Castaneda. He's never getting that. He's about five foot four. Isaacson to Bobby Reed. Out wide to Cruz. Cruz to Isaacson. Isaac oh my god. Oh my god. They just cut me open. And that's a good save. It was, it was right at him, to be fair. But we are being overran in the middle right now. Evander to Martins. Has to go back to Isaacson. Isaacson. It's a fantastic ball in again. And Brian Rossi's there. Uh, God, they could have scored twice there in the space of 30 seconds. Rashford, I'm looking for a big switch here, boy. Uh, is that going to fall to him? It is going to fall to him. Castaneda in the middle towards Nygaard. Defender just about gets there, you lucky son of a bitch. Oh, that's a bad kick out there from the keeper. Nygaard up to Rashford. Rashford cuts it back onto his right. Goes for the shot. Hamid saves and it's out for a corner. Now we're starting to build it. Now we're starting to, to grow back into the game. Oh, Rashford, stop that. <laughs> Rashford's just sent him. Puts him on his ass. Decent ball in towards Umar. Right. That one's just landed on Mars. Millet. Out wide to Umar. Umar to Millet. Millet tries to fucking slip that through to Rashford. Didn't work. Caballo to Millet. Millet to Breno. Breno to Rashford. Rashford tries to find Breno. Oh, win it. Jump. Kill him. That'll do. <laughs> that catch will end the game. It's going to end 1-1. And it's, I'd say it's a fair result. Yeah, there it is, the full-time whistle. I'd say it's a fair result. Both teams had chances to win this game. Um, probably, I think FC Maddy had the better chances to win this game, actually, with that flurry that they had at the start of the second half. We had chances as well. Couldn't take them. And in the end, it is a 1-1 draw, which actually might be enough. We've actually got quite a few decent uh, people in the youth academy that are ready to come up now. So we've got here this Oscar Wilson guy. Decent potential. Decent starting overall. Could be a uh, I've said decent a lot, but I'm going to say it again. Could be a decent squad player. So we are going to promote him to the senior team. We've also got this guy, Mason Lewis, uh, a young left midfielder. Good potential. A better starting overall than the last guy that I've forgotten the name of. I haven't learned the names yet. Uh, so we are, again, going to promote this guy. And Victor Segura here. It's another left midfielder. We may have a bit too many left midfielders uh, slash left wingers, but we are going to promote them to the senior team. And even if we don't play them, we could maybe sell them on in a season or so. Maybe get them on loan, boost the, over boost the overall sell them on for a bit of a, a bit you know a bit of cash segura he's got shown grip potential which oh that's not great actually that means 80 to 84 85 um lewis was even exciting prospect so that's about 85 to 90 so oh 
the wingers there not looking too great but Oscar Wilson has potential to be special a 90 plus player in the making hopefully all right so let's sim this game against Newcastle shall we away from home can we get the job done yes we can 2-1 Tielemans and Gabriel Xavier with the goals all right next sim game Leighton Orient versus Wolves at Brisbane Road can we get the job done Yes, we can. Two goals, two from Enzo Millet as well. Get in. So I was wrong. Uh, I th thought that if we, because we drew that game, we'd be through. Um, but we're not. There's five points between us. I thought there was six points between us, was there not? Was I just wrong on my maths last time? A point from this game will do it. Um, and if FC Maddie lose or draw, you know, we don't care about what happens between FC Maddie and Standard Liège. All we need is a point. So. You know, I think we're going to do it, aren't we? <laughs> so, let's play some... You know what, I won't show you the team. We'll go. We'll jump into the game now for you. And uh, you can be surprised by the team. Back again at Brisbane Road. Uh, another Europa League game. Leighton Orient, this time taking on Lech Poznan. The two L's going at it. I think they're a Polish team. I can't quite remember. One point is all it takes. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. One point is all it takes. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. One point is all we need to go through to the next round. But for now, let's just hear that banging Europa League tune once again. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so here is how we are going. Brian Rossi in goal, back four of Diego Caballo, Nathan Wood, Nathan Ferguson, and Arvid Solheim. We haven't seen him in a while. Tielemans, Robert Nagar playing a bit deeper today, and Gabriel Xavier as the count. And then up top is Alexi Sanchez, Breno Fernandes, and Carlos Linz. And here is our Lech Poznan uh, start. I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of those names apart from Gonzalez, Vida, and Klups. <laughs> so let's get this game kicked off, shall we? Breno Fernandes gets it underway, and it is live. All we need is one point, and we are through to the knockout rounds. Klups plays it over the top to uh, Bumgartner. I remember that guy. Puts that towards the edge of the box. Where the fuck is the defenders? He's offside. But let's just not do that again, shall we? He is offside. There you go. Xavier to Tielemans. Tielemans to Fernandez. Fernandez got Xavier making the run. Oh, Xavier gets in behind. Will he pass it? Will he shoot? He's going to shoot. And Gabriel Xavier get the goal to put Leighton Orient in the lead. He's coming on leaps and bounds, this kid. He's gone from inconsistent to a danger every time he steps on the pitch. Good first touch to take it away from the number five. And he gives the keeper the ice, just smacks it with his left into the top right corner. And we take the lead and put one foot in the round of 32. I do believe it is in the Europa League because the Champions League goes straight to round of 16. But I think the Europa League goes round of 32, then 16. I wouldn't know. My team doesn't play in the Europa League. I don't pay attention to it. Sanchez there was a lovely take to turn his man. Go on, Sanchez. I know you're getting old. I know you're getting old, but come on. Use your pace. In the middle. What a ball. Carlos is there. What? A last-ditch tackle there from whoever that guy was to get in and just clear that for a corner because that was a certain goal. Oh, well done, Alexis. That was lovely footwork there. Alexis now coming forward. Going to play that back to Rob. Robert Nygaard back to Sanchez if he can. That's a lovely ball through. Sanchez, he's at, yeah, I think that's 17. My controller vibrated. I know that you can't feel that. But I think this, this defender just... Yeah, just give him a little nudge. I thought he did. Give him a little nudge and just put him off balance. Linz, big switch, lad. What a ball. Sanchez, I need this to be a good first touch. And it is. Sanchez! Come on, lads! Atom and Humber are getting fed tonight. The veteran can still do it. What a ball by Carlos Linz to find him. Sanchez, this first touch just stops it dead. And actually sends the keeper on a bit of a mission there. That keeper there, look, he doesn't know what's going on. He thinks he can get that. Sanchez there, lovely first touch into the near post. And it's 2-0. And you know what? Leighton Orient threw it with the round of 32. I'll say it now. Linz. To Nygaard. Ball to Sanchez. There it is. Spin. Nice. Sanchez slips that through to Carlos Linz. I don't know what he's doing over this side. Oh! oh what, a what a finish from Carlos Linz. Oh my word. How did he sneak that in? 
I just think he's got no right, absolutely no right to score from there. Sanchez to Xavier. Xavier back to Sanchez. There you go, Xavier back. Oh my, well, look at this. Xavier, square it to him. There you go, Alexis. Oh, you know what? Atom and Humber, they can have as much pedigree chum as they want. That was insane. That was unreal between them two. And I like how it was Xavier who was the first person to go over there and congratulate Alexis. That was brilliant between these two. They're just playing it between each other. And I could have scored with Xavier, but nah. We'll give it to Sanchez because now Xavier's got a goal and an assist. And anybody who calls him inconsistent can suck these nuts. Caballo, send it. Go on, Sanchez. Go on, Sanchez. Oh, Alexi Sanchez. He's having the game of his life. Puts that in the middle. Not the best cross. Sanchez is enjoying himself out there. This is Arsenal slash Inter Milan, Alexi Sanchez. This ain't Man United, Alexi Sanchez. <laughs> no, he got the ball. He got the ball. You lying sack of shit. I'm not having that. He 100% he got the ball. He got the ball! No, man! No, that's a crock of shite! That's a crock of shit! No, I'm out. Hang on. I'm not. No, 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 I'm not having this. Ball over the top. Well, it wasn't really over the top. Trigger, he's keeping an eye on him. Slides in. No, man. That's a fantastic tackle! Look, he just. No. And it's gone. That. No, that's a lot of shite. That's. Can we keep a clean sheet? Can Brian Rossi stop the penalty? Giving it the old jersey do deck. He's gone the right way! Big right hand, left hand, left, left hand to it. <laughs> Great penalty. It's a good penalty right in the corner. And that's a solid left hand from Brian Rossi to get that away. Come on, lad. We need more Brian Rossi fans, if you ask me. Absolutely solid keeper. Bumgartner back to Joswiak. Woody intercept. Clear it away. And there is the full time whistle. Leighton Orient 4 0 winners. And Leighton Orient, as you can see from the crowd, are in to the next round of the Europa League through to the knockout stages. What a win. Absolutely brilliant. That man out right there, that undefined man, was absolutely sensational today. Like prime Alexi Sanchez. Like I said, it was like watching Alexi Sanchez at Arsenal. That was what that was. Absolutely brilliant. 4 0. Leighton Orient through, not too bad. All right, then back to the Sim Games. Brighton away from home. Can we get the job done? Yes, we can. 5 0. Great win for us. Sanchez there in with the goals. I couldn't drop him. 5 0. That's a, that's a good result for us. All right, and the quarter final of the Carabao Cup at home against Man City. Can we get the job done? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, then. 0 0. 4-3 on penalties. Not too bad. A big name has just gone in this competition. And we're going to the first of the month. Will there be a training injury? Probably will. Of course. Of course. No, man. That... It keeps on taking my best players. Every fucking month. First of the month. Bang. Training injury. Last month, George Marsh was out for three months. This month, Nathan Wood's out for two. My best defender. Out for two months. All right, simmed uh, away from home, no, at home against Spurs. Can we get the job done? <sighs> no, we can't. <laughs> Damn it, you joking me. Brian Rossi just got injured. What the fuck's going on? So now, I don't have my keeper. I don't have my best defender. And I don't have my backup left back. And I don't have George Marsh either. You know, a, a backup, I wouldn't say backup, a, a, a first team midfielder. Right, what's going on here? Is somebody, is somebody's poison the water hole? All right then, so let's move into the final game of the episode as we take on Standard Liège. This is a must-win game for them uh, because if they don't win, they're not going through uh, to the knockout stages. But we're, we're, I'm not here for sentimental value. I'm here to smash their face in. So let's get it done. <laughs> All right, so we are in Be Belgium, Belgium. Belgium, are they, yeah, Belgium, to take on standard Liège. This game means absolutely nothing to me and everything to them. So these boys need a win to stand any chance of going through to the next stage. But for these boys, the job is already done. 
their place in the knockout stages confirmed last game. And here is how Standard Liège start this game. Mavogo in go back for that one, Descend, Bacardi and Trauco. Midfield three of Simarot, Sigurdsson and Amhala. And then up top is Morris, Avenatti and Boljevic as a front three. Now I'm not going to lie to you boys, I have taken this game not very seriously, as you'll be able to see right now. Diogo Neves in goal, Brandon Williams at left back, Midf uh, not midfield, defence of Kent, Larson and Solheim, midfield of Jones, Nygaard and Louis Dennis, and then into the, <laughs> the front three is Alexis Sanchez, Carlos Linz, and up top is Oscar Wilson. That youth academy guy that we signed at the start of the episode, that one, he's starting already. Dennis. <gasps> Oscar Wilson, please, I beg, I beg, I be Oscar Wilson, come on! Oscar Wilson immediately gets a call 10 minutes into his professional career and he's already off the mark. And you know what that means? After this game, Oscar Wilson will be getting his shirt untucked and, uh, you know, we'll keep the number for now. We'll keep number, was he 30 there? We'll keep that for now. That's a lovely finish as well. Takes it back. Back across goal, into the top left, and I can't ask for more. I can't ask for more. Jesus Christ. Ten minutes into his late in Orient career, he's already scored. Wow. Sigurdsson. Oh, it's a good ball. Amavati, and he plays that wide. Oh, that's a big chance for them. Boljevic puts that in the middle. Easy clearance. Frankie, get it further away. Can they break from this? No, because... Brandon Williams is in the way. Dennis, lovely ball over the top. Jones, chest it down. They just get back. We are going to win this back. Dennis to Jones. Jones to Sanchez. He can hit them from here. He's hit that straight into the penis of that man. Louis Dennis picks it up. Goes for a run. Louis Dennis. Oh, if he scores, I'll get naked. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. <laughs> Sigurdsson now. Up the field to Boljevic. Boljevic puts that in the middle. Easy clearance for us. They seem to be doing that a lot, just crosses in, but they're not very good. That's a foul. Ref, have a word with yourself. Take a look in the mirror and have a word with yourself, because that was a foul. Sigurdsson, that's a great looking ball. Through the defence, ball into the middle. Can Trigvi get there? He's winning absolutely everything in the air today, Trigvi Larson. And now, calm as you like, we're away. Jones pings that out wide to Sanchez. That is Sanchez, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Can he get that? He's running out of energy, the old dog. <laughs> we'll bring Sanchez off for Lewis, for Mason Lewis. Why the fuck not? And also, do I bring... No, I want to bring Leangle on. And I am going to bring him on. I'm going to drop Louis Dennis to centre mid. I'm going to drop Wilson here because it says he can play there. And I'm going to take Curtis Jones off for Leangle. Why not? Why not? We're living. We're living life. This is what living is, kids. Dennis to Leangle. That was a sentence I said so much in the first season. We go. We move. Wilson. We don't kick the ball out. I don't care if they've got a man down. See if I give a shit. Wilson. Go, Wilson, Lee Angle, slip through. Oh, Lee, please, if you score, I will get naked. I will get naked. Lee, shoot your fucking penis. Nygaard, up to Lee Angle. Angle, touches it away. Um, I fucked it. I fucked it. This is completely my fault. Lay it off. Robert, touch, bang. Oh, oh my God, I thought that flew into the top corner. And that shot is the final action of the game. A 1-0 victory. Not only does that put us through with a perfect record. It's not, no, no. We drew the first game of this episode with a near-perfect record. It also condemns Standard Liège as they know that they are not going through uh, to the knockout stages. They are out. Uh, Leighton Orient and FC Maddy are through. And now we'll see who else went through and we'll also see who dropped down from the Champions League. Oscar, Wilson, Kit, Bang, Untalk, oh yeah. All right, so after the simmed games from today, we are in third. We've actually overtaken Arsenal and jumped into third. Man City and Liverpool, the two teams above us, the two teams that you'd expect to be there. Um, so yeah, that's the table. Man United have actually shot, uh, shot up. I'm sure at the end of last episode they were 13th and now they're 6th. So if you want to know where anybody is in the table, I will just quickly scroll down and there you go. The big one that we all want to know, who the fuck dropped down from the Champions League? PSV have dropped down from the Champions League. Relatively easy team. Group B, Sparta, Praha. I'm surprised that Ajax got absolutely bummed there. I thought they would be the team that finished third in that group. I'm not going to lie to you. Group C, Dinamo Zagreb relatively easy draw I think group D Celtic absolute piss absolute pish group E Genk decent team to draw it to be honest group F Leon 
That is a big team dropping down if I've ever seen one. Group G, Inter not making it out of the group. They'll have, I don't know whether Romelu Lukaku's still there and some others. Handanovic will probably be retired by now. Big name dropping down, Group H and the last group, Monaco. Not the team that they once were, like... When the fuck did Kylian Mbappe break on the scene? 2016? Four years ago now? Jesus Christ, was it four years ago already? Oh my god, we're all dying. I don't see anything in here. Do we just fucking zoom forward? Obviously, well, we're going to do highlights. We're going to do highlights of Burnley, Villa, West... The rest of this, the rest of this month. The rest of December. Uh, probably Brighton. Well, we'll sim Brighton no matter what because it's in the Carabao Cup. But do we come back for January? We don't really have much money unless a big deal comes in for one of our players, which I can't see happening. So, yeah, unless we get, like, a big team in the FA Cup, maybe we come back. I think we come back for this. I really do think we come back for the round of 32 in the Europa League in February because there's nothing really there. And like I said... The league isn't really our focus this year, but if we do like um, look like we're challenging, because we're like four points off right now, so we're four points off second, so we're, we're in the mix, but not really, you know, we're not one of the favourites, and I don't think we are, I think we still need to improve some areas of the field before we can call ourselves right, this year we're going for it, but this year, like I said, Europa League is, is probably the one is probably the silverware that we need to focus on. So I think right now we're just going to fly forward to February and see who we get. That is where I am going to finish it for today. If you did jump a shot, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back next week for the next episode, hopefully. I'll stop rambling. I'll let you get on with your day. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. If you want to follow me on Twitter or anything at all, the links, as always, are in the description and down below. But... Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask. <laughs> I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Oh,